Want to discover fun facts about Arctic char? Hey explorers, it's me Brandon, and welcome back to another episode of Nature Meets Paper, a learning adventure. The show where we discover answers to your questions. If you missed last week's episode, I'll put up a card right up above. Today I will be answering your questions about Arctic char. Let's dive right in, shall we? A clarifier before we officially start. Last week I used the term lateral line and I didn't explain what it was. It is a string of sense organs in aquatic vertebrates, typically found in fish, that detects movement. This this organ is located along the sides of the fish. So our first question is from Leslie R. When they swim in the ocean, do they usually go very deep? That is a great question. The average depth of the Arctic Ocean is 1,038 meters, or 3,406 feet. So that is plenty of room to give them to dive deep, correct? Well, A. Rickardson et al., 2007, performed a study on Arctic char where his team tagged Arctic char and recorded the temperature and the depth of the fish. What they found surprises me. They found that char preferred water that was one to three meters deep. With all that room, they only choose to swim in one to three meter water. Why is that? So that is roughly 3.2 to 9.8 feet with a maximum dive depth of 16 meters, which is 52.5 feet. I wonder why this is. In order to answer that, I'm going to answer another question. So this, the second question is from Kristen R. What do they eat? Ah, so now we get to figure out why they live in shallow waters. The char primarily eat fish, amphipods, planktonic crustaceans, mollusks, insects, and when in the ocean, larger fish and some medium-sized crustaceans. So I'm going to let you think about that. The things that I just listed off are te typically towards the surface of the water, especially what? Insects. So that is why they swim in shallow water. They're there for their food. It was shown that they can dive deeper in the ocean, returning to fresh water to get these medium-sized fish and small crustaceans, but prefer surface feeding. But if they love surface feeding, why don't they just live at the surface? That's, in order to a answer this, I have to answer then my next question, which is from Elizabeth B. What kind of predators seek out the Arctic char? Also since they are like salmon, do they tend to stick in groups throughout the whole year? Now we get to tie everything all together. The primary predators of the Arctic char are bears, otters, birds, and of course humans. This also explains why they are not found on the surface. It is easy for a predator on the surface to grab the char if they are right on the surface. So they have found the perfect position for them, so it's deep enough to avoid predators, but also shallow enough to get those insects and those other animals, uh, those other food sources that they have. They also swim in schools and stick closely together for social reasons, but also for predator avoidance. Many eyes help detect predators on the surface and around, and it gives the fish time to swim away or to swim into deeper water. So let's do a recap. We found out how deep the fish swim, typically in fresh and salt water. We found out why they swim there due to food sources. And we also found out why they can't stick on the surface and hang out on the surface due to predation. So we found out with these three questions, we were able to piece together a puzzle. I love doing puzzles. So we were able to piece together a puzzle of what, like how deep these fish swim we were able to determine like, what they eat and which affects how deep they swim and we also figured out the pr their predators which also affects the depth of which they swim. So all of these questions that seem to not tie together can be interconnected. Hmm. Look at the time. I love learning and discovering with you all. But this adventure is coming to a close. But another will be here next week. Thank you who all participated this week. Remember, I have one rule for this channel. If you learn something new or you found something interesting, share that discovery with somebody else. Next week, we will be learning about Arctic Cod, and then I have a beluga surprise for you. I've been Brandon, and this has been a learning adventure.